hardcore free for all. Hello everybody, my name is Kimball Luke and welcome back. And today I have for you some hardcore free for all on the map uh uh Black Ops. Damn. Weapons free. I totally just forgot what it was. But anyway, <laughs> all right, this was my one of my first few games with my scuffed controller. So, I mean, my KD dropped like 0 .04 points trying to get used to that damn thing. I ended up selling it. I, don't, I just don't like it. I got used to it, and I still didn't like it, so I just got rid of it. I play much better with a regular controller. Sorry to say it, but I do. And I, I gave it plenty of time, and I got totally used to it. But anyway, here I am using the Gorgon. I have... the hell do I have? I have the Red Dot. And I think... Rapid Fire and Fast Mag. I think. Can't remember. Anyway. <laughs> so I'm just kind of patiently waiting here. Waiting to see what happens. Very. This was even my first game of the day too. So I was very cautious. I always am on my first gigs until I get the feel of the game again. Because it, it, sometimes I don't play for a week at a time. But anyway, here the dude. I'm alright. But anyway. Let's get into the, the. Look at that aim. Oh yeah. Yeah. Beautiful aim. Ha ha ha. Trip mine. But anyway, let's get back to the thing at hand here. The supply drop problem. Now, I started, uh, I've been thinking about this for a while now. And a bunch of YouTubers, you know, they've said their piece and everything. And they either for it or against it. Most people are against it. And, you know, I, they're, you can't blame them. It's not the studio's problems. I mean, it faults like Treyarch and Infinity War and Sledgehammer. It's Activision, man. I mean, when it comes down to it, Sledgehammer, they, yes, they had it to the game. They introduced it. That was not their uh, Activision's idea at all. It was Sledgehammer's. And th they said, the Sledgehammer said that they were never, ever going to charge for it, man. They put out a statement on it. But Activision stepped in and said, no, you're not. You're going to charge for this. And... So it began. The slippery slope. And then, of course, Black Ops 3. Activision had it in there. Knew they were going to make money off it, but Treyarch only wanted, you know, not. They didn't want to put the weapons in there. They just wanted cosmetic things. And they did. But then Activision stepped in and said, hey, sorry, man, you can't do that. We want to make money off of it. So, you got to change that and start adding the DLC weapons to it. So, that began. I got my little setup here. You know, just gotta wash my back on the wall. But, most YouTubers out there just complain about it, man. Well, why don't you add a solution? Huh? Now, here, I'm gonna throw out some solutions for you guys. How about one, you know, they're talking about 10 specialists. Go ahead, don't put... I know he's the supply drop guy. But don't put him in the fucking supply drops. Give that to everybody. So it would be fair the, that some people don't have the specialist and some do. So start with that. And then for season pass holders, you know, we used to get DLC weapons in every map pack, man. And I mean, it all started with ghosts and stuff. Or not ghosts, was it? Black Ops 2 with, you know, the that one gun, and I can't remember the name of it right now, I'm pretty damn tired. But then, you know, the Ripper, and a couple of, the Maverick, and a couple of other guns, and Ghosts, and Advanced Warfare did it, you know, but, that, but they, even Advanced Warfare, you got the M1 Irons for free. And I think one other one, too, I can't remember what it was, but, but uh, they, uh, but they did that, but of course everything else was in supply drops. So, Black Ops 3, look at that. Two hit shot with a Gorgon on hardcore. What the hell is that about? Ready to deploy. See, it. what the hell was that? Spawned right in front of me. But let's let's talk about some solutions anyway. How about season pass holders get one featured DLC weapon? So th that would be nice, and not not a fucking melee weapon. You know, an actual gun. Because I don't care about melee weapons. Most people don't care about melee weapons. Because it's just a reskin of the knife. So with each map pack, they could give you... Give Season Pass holders one DLC weapon. Put the rest in supply drops. I'm okay with that. It's still getting something. 
So I'm gonna get put this up here to wash my bag up, y'all. And then how about um damn losing my train oh damn lost my train of thought and then that dude shot me what are we gonna ah totally lost my train of thought damn that sucks but anyway I should have ripped this shit down but anyway at least it's a solution you know and I think it's a fairly good solution season pass holder still getting a DLC weapon. Activision can still put the rest in the supply drops, make the damn money. It is a supply drop problem, but the supply drops are a good thing. Activision just did a very evil thing with them. Because I love the idea in Advanced Warfare, I thought it was great. Still do, it just just can't put all the damn DLC weapons in there, man. Especially when you started out giving them to us. Uh, you know, at least the season pass holders. If you didn't buy season pass, yeah. Too bad for you, man. You didn't buy the extra content. You don't get the DLC weapon. That I totally understand. Because it takes a lot more work to add the DLC, man. Yeah, I mean, granted, you take three years to make a game. That's a lot of work. And then you put more work into map packs and shit. DLC weapons and stuff like that, and skins, and, and uh, clothes, and you know, the taunts and all that stuff, man. I mean, that takes work. You gotta pay for that. I understand that. You're not gonna put in some work with the damn servers. But anyway, that's my solution to the supply drop problem. It's probably the best solution I've heard. Anyone else that they just put out dumbass shit, I can't even think of something right now to use as an example, but just go out there and Look at the supply drop problem videos and you'll see what the hell I'm talking about. And I myself love the advanced movement systems. Absolutely love it. I don't want to go back to boring ass cod boots on the ground, man. You know how boring that is when it takes you forever to get across the map? You have to at least double or even triple the movement rate for me to even be entertained. So I don't mind that. So I look forward to the next Call of Duty, no matter what it is, whether it's... Civil War, or if it's cotton space, man, just like in my last video. So anyway, let's get into the rest of this gameplay. I talked enough about supply drops, and it's about over. Alright, so let's get that out of the sky so I'm not on the radar. You know, this Gorgon's pretty badass, especially when you have rapid fire on it. Oh, let's see out here. And it's about over, too, if I remember right. Yep. There it is. I didn't win it, but I got second place, boys. You should try out that Gorgon with some rapid fire. It's totally worth it. But anyway, show me some love, show me some hate, but show me something. Either way, I'll see you on the flip side. Peace out and happy gaming, people. Let me know what you think about my solution to the supply drop problem in the comments below. Oh, yeah. Gotta watch Pop and Lock. Yeah, baby. <laughs>